There are times you hope, you really hope that you are wrong about a TV series or a film uh, because it's going in a direction that you just don't want those things to happen to those characters. Unfortunately, I think I was right about where this was going and it's making me very sad. Hey and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben. This is my spoiler review and best moments, kind of talking about, breaking down episode four of Wonder. We're really getting into the meat of things of this series now. The first three episodes have obviously been those black and white episodes with a big bit of mix of color. We've seen Wonder and Vision living this uh, sitcom universe, which has been very interesting. It's obviously had a mixed reaction. I personally loved it because I kind of grew up uh, with parents who used to watch those sort of uh, series like who's the boss um all of those uh you know like the genie series it, it's all of those sort of sitcoms it, it's just nostalgia for me and then seeing the mix of marvel i've really enjoyed their characterizations but in the center of it the theory for myself has always been and again spoilers okay the theory for myself has always been Wanda has gone through more than most uh, tragedy than uh, most in the, I guess, the Marvel Universe. And so I always thought to myself, yeah, this is a concoction of her magic that she's created. It's not some uh, big entity around the edges or someone's forced them into this. This is Wanda because she lost her brother um, in Sokovia when they were fighting Ultron. Uh, and then she fell in love with Vision, um, and then Vision died, obviously. That's too much for her to handle. There's been some like major characters that have died, you know, the Thanos click or the reverse of the Thanos click didn't bring everybody back, or well, some people just died permanently. So we have obviously the Stony Stark, the Stony Stark, Tony Stark moment. Uh, I am Stony Stark. Oh gosh, Tony Stark, what the hell is that character? Tony Stark. Uh, and so obviously we were still hurting, we're reeling from that. So I was really hoping that this wasn't the case, but this episode definitely shows, I think, that it is all wonder and the fact that Vision is still dead. Which hurts me on some deep level, man. Sentient Weapon Observation Response Division. That's what SWORD stands for. So this episode, we see the uh, the outside. We see how the military came to be involved. We see why SWORD gets involved. We see that there's a population of 3,000 people that have been taken over by Wonder's power. We see then the FBI kind of not really handling things and SWORD comes in with all the gadgets. And we also see one of our favorite characters from Thor. Dr. Lewis jumps right in there with cosmic radiation uh, theories and she is the one that picks out or manages to find this thread, this TV show in an old TV, which is very apt, which I really like. She's asking for coffee. Is she ever going to get her coffee? Loved her character in this. I, I'm hoping that she is in it for the rest of the series. I think she's very good um, as that character, that geeky, uh, really smart, intelligent, beautiful character. Uh, yeah. Uh, was great to see her in this. One of my favorite moments was seeing her in this. The other was the Wonder Punch. Obviously, when we have that counter reaction, uh, we see it from one side, inside, and now we've kind of seen it from the outside, but now we see that moment when the screen goes back to its normal aspect ratio for what we normally watch now, rather back in the sitcom days. And she does her magic and pushes her through multiple wars and then out the field, which she's obviously created. And uh, that is the moment when we see Vision come back in and he's black and white and his head is caved in and there's no life there. Gosh, seeing him like that was quite a shock. And I was like, yeah, that confirms it to me. She's created this world. Uh, well, this small, tiny city world where she's basically kidnapped 3000 people. Her magic is immense. She's put a field around it where nobody can really uh, come into it. And if you do, uh, it changes and you end up being the character. Your mind is uh, changed to be one of the characters on her show in her world so that she can live life. Um, what she wanted to do with vision, her idyllic life, have kids, you know, live this perfect vision of uh, her world, the idea of it. I am hoping there is more to it than that. The reason why they've picked up this uh, 
magic as where her power comes from you know way back when from earth the creation of earth that power is what they're saying is there evident and i'm hoping that the reason why she's tapped into that specifically is that she's rebuilding vision synapses or she's managing to do it really slow so it's going to take an amount of time and she will do anything to stop people her home is here and she's going to fix him that is one theory one of my favorite lines in this episode was the fbi getting a little bit of cheek from sword no sir softball season is over <laughs> which I thought was great. It was a nice little fun line. Monica Rambo is obviously going to play a big part uh, in the continuing episodes. We see the breakdown of the characters revealed, the main kind of plot, uh, as they start figuring out who is actually involved and what Wanda is doing. Uh, we see the music again at the end. I don't know if people have noticed. I'm sure they have that. It normally kind of tells the story of what's happening. The, some of the lines of the music in the credits also uh, say, hey, this is a thing. Uh, I might not see you in this world, but I see you in the next um, is a line in the uh, in the music or the song that they've chosen to put at the end. It's always that is kind of it's kind of harking back to the episode and what's going on in the story. I really like the whole editing and the cut of that. I'm a little bit annoyed at how small the episodes are. If you take away the intro or previously on Wanda and then you take away the six minutes of credits on each episode, you're down to like um, 28 minutes uh, a piece, uh, sometimes less than that, depending on the episode. So I really hope the last episodes are going to get epic and we're going to get nice, decent 45 minutes or an hour because uh, they're just going, they're flying by so quickly and we've been waiting so long for this uh, particular series. I did love it. I'm loving that we're getting answers, kind of. We have answers about the outside and I feel like the theories now are confirmed that it's totally wonder um but i'm hoping that there's much more than to, to it than that and that we have will have some hope that vision will somehow come back but maybe that's not the case <laughs> so we've seen Mar uh, maria rambo come back um, i'm guessing it's the reverse of the thanos snap where people are recombobulating ra rather than discombobulating uh, we have no more mr stark i don't feel so good i don't feel so good you're all right. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I don't want to go. We have no more of that. Uh, it's three years later. Her mom is gone. Um, and uh, she now needs to pick up the pieces. She works for Sword. And that's how she comes into the universe. Thanks so much for watching this review and breakdown. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.